There are five points I want you to write down today and take home and meditate on. Life is full of choices. The oldest of that choice is to be the victim. Don't. Is it working? Don't make yourself a victim. It's not working? Don't make yourself a victim. Because you have been made victorious by God. We've been made more than conqueror through Christ. Number two, difference is scary. Difference scares people. Don't be afraid to be different. Number three, don't let the world set expectation for you. Don't. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. Don't let the world set expectations for you. You know why? If they set expectation for you, you will start low and you will never attain the height. Because the world is wicked and is not interested in your success. Only God is. So who should set your expectation? Number four, don't deny the pain you're going through today. Don't deny it. The Bible says, Abraham against hope believed in hope. Also, as you do not deny the present pain, do not deny the hope of a great future. Don't let anything stop you from rejoicing. Do not stutter at the promise of God in unbelief. Against hope, believe in hope. So if there's something you're going to do today, you're going to wait on God until he gives you a reassuring word for your future. God must speak to you today. Number five, don't wait for the circumstances to change before you are happy. A lot of us are waiting for the day we're going to be happy. You're going to be happy today. Don't wait until you get that money. Don't wait until you pay that rent. Don't wait until your children start doing well as you want. Start rejoicing now because they will do well. God will exceed your expectation. In the name of Jesus. How many righteous people are here? The Bible says the heart desire of the righteous shall be granted. And the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short.